Well, we've all heard how lucrative a fly-in, fly-out job can be. The mining boom in Queensland and Western Australia has created an unprecedented demand for skilled and non-skilled workers. To fill those positions, people leave their homes from places as far away as New Zealand, chasing big dollars, and they can spend up to several months away. In a sign of growing economic uncertainty in Tasmania, it appears more and more people are choosing this way of life. But is the money enough to compensate for the lifestyle these jobs replace? Reporter Martin Cudahy spoke to some Tasmanians who commute to Western Australia for work. Mining is a pillar of the economy. The riches dug up in our backyard are fueling furious activity the world over. Definitely if you enjoy being around that kind of stuff or you're in your element, the hours are long and the days are hot and, and so forth like that, but the end picture is, is what you, you look forward to, so it all makes up for it. Tens of thousands of Australians work in mining in some of the country's most far-flung reaches. Often the mines are so far away from the nearest settlement that workers are flown in and then flown out again. If you're in a situation where you live in a community where there's little employment opportunity and there's an offer out there of what appears to be a significant uh, household earnings, um, then at least in the first instance people are going to be attracted to it and have a go at it. Nathan Nude lives in the Launceston suburb of Riverside. He works a two weeks on, one week off shift at a place called Mount Keith, about 300 kilometres north of Kalgoorlie. So the time he spends with his wife and kids is important. I was away for Christmas and that was pretty hard. Um, there'll be definitely other things that, we, that I'll be away for birthdays, anniversaries, funerals, all that kind of stuff, but unfortunately that's just a part of the lifestyle. Here you go. Do you want to pop these in your lunchbox today? While he's away, the day-to-day -day running of the family is left to Bridie you. The lifestyle change has given her a new appreciation of the challenges faced by single parents every day. Can be hard, yeah. Um, it's difficult to get used to, to being alone and pretty much having the kids all to myself um, at the times that Nathan's away. Um, and then the dynamics of the family changes again when he comes home and a bit of readjusting to do, but he's done it probably four or five shifts now and it's, it's getting easier each time. Of the seven days off, two are spent travelling, so the family has decided to move to Western Australia later this year. More time at home, financially better off um, because of the travelling and, and so forth like that. Um, and uh, just the, the broader, broader outlook, hopefully, for everyone. So mm. It's yeah. probably an opportunity we wouldn't have considered if Nathan's work hadn't taken him that way to begin with. Um, it just seems, you know, like a good opportunity. Both Bridie and Nathan Ude grew up in Tasmania. They don't particularly want to leave, but feel it's the only option given the current economic climate. Yep. We need to consider things like the, the kids' schooling, um, health, um, job industries, the whole lot just doesn't feel stable um, mm -hmm. and I think this is as good an opportunity as any for us to get over there and, and make a better life for us. Can I please have 200? Thanks. So you've set some goals then have you? Yeah. 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 Something we haven't ever been able to do before, it's just been you know living paycheck to paycheck and now yeah. you know we do have a future to look forward to. Who has the hotel there? i have to give you $30. The Assistant Branch Secretary of the Australian Workers' Union is Rob Flanagan. He isn't surprised some members are heading interstate for work, nor does he blame them. We have ever-shrinking opportunity for blue-collar workers to find work in this state. Uh, we've had a series of industries which have closed up and that has forced those workers and their families to look at what options are available. The union doesn't know exactly how many people are flying out of Tasmania, nor does the Bureau of Statistics or the Labor Force Survey. But what was interesting, whenever 7.30 contacted anyone to try and find out those figures, they could always point us to a friend or relative making the big commute. 
One statistician put us in contact with his brother. On the other side of Australia, John Carswell is in Perth for a conference. The geologist flies out from Tasmania to a remote gold mine. Even if I was to live in Western Australia, I'd be living in, say, Perth and still commuting, um, uh, fly in, fly out from Perth to um, in, in, where I'm currently working is at Sunrise Dam, um, northeast of uh, Kalgoorlie. I'd still be required to fly in, fly out. Having made that choice, um, I, I might as well um, continue and fly on to Tasmania. John Carswell spends 16 days on site and then is home for nearly two weeks. We can do things in that 12 days that um, I might not or we might not have been able to do on, say, weekends. So in some respects it actually gives us, uh, it, 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 there are some aspects of uh, fly and fly that actually um, adds to, uh, to those relationships. For uh, a lot of people, the arrangements do work uh, in the sense that they do have employment uh, and income, um, but for others um, they find that arrangement not to suit their circumstances and, and they um, give it up and come home. In fact, so many people give it up and come home that there's an annual turnover of fly-in, fly-out workers somewhere between 20 and 50 per cent. Two sixes. But for the Ude family, they believe the fiscal situation in Tasmania will force even more people to cast their eyes further afield in search of work. I have had a lot of friends and people that we know that have already moved over and are looking at moving over in the next six to 12 months as well, all because there's, unfortunately there's nothing here for them at this stage. So, so, so that's something that you've noticed that a lot more people are considering this? Very much. Yeah. Very much. And for as long as the West is booming, that's unlikely to change.